What's going on traders? John with Tactical Trading here with our weekly watch list. Uh, quite a few stocks to go over this week, a lot that we're watching this week. Uh, so we're just going to get right into this. Um, first stock we're going to be watching is a health and wellness company that had absolutely terrific financials, very low float, uh, was up over, well over 120, in fact it was up 128% on Friday. We spoke about it uh, very briefly in our OTC Saturday video and this is Omid Holdings. O-M-I-D. Uh, I think this stock with the float that it has and the future prospects that it has, I think this, on top of it, it's already getting picked up on stock twits. A lot of momentum uh, talked about on Twitter. So a lot of eyes are uh, actually falling on this stock now when I think uh, actually Friday um, didn't have as much uh, eyes on it. They had the long weekend to go over this stock. Uh, being up 128%, I think this thing has major room to run, especially with the very low float that it has, approximately about $31 million, I believe, in the available uh, float for uh, traders to trade. Uh, I think this thing has probably 10 cents written all over it this week, if not better. Um, this is something that I'm looking at more of a... Um, midterm swing trade in my opinion i think this is a stock that you can buy probably hang on to for approximately 30 to 90 days and to, to actually maximize your profits on this stock now if you're going to day trade the stock that will work as well too because i think this thing's going to have a nice pop tomorrow the continuation from the first green day pattern that we uh, just had on friday uh, but in my opinion this is something that i'm grabbing onto and i'm going to be holding probably anywhere between 30 and 90 days pending on the price action and that is omi ID Omen Holdings. Uh, this thing closed on Friday at 0 0.0617. Again, up 128%. And again, I do think that continues. So uh, OMID is one of the top plays that we're looking at this week. Now, uh, another stock that we're looking at, we did mention yesterday on OTC Saturday. This is Video River Networks. NIHK, NIHK, stock closed at 0 0.0725, uh, up just a little bit on Friday. Uh, this is another lower float OTC that, uh, in my opinion, has major, major potential. Uh, this is the one we talked about where uh, they actually acquired George Sharp to help them. They have the uh, caveat emptor on them, the CE on them right now. So not all platforms can purchase this stock at this point. Um, I know they're working diligently to get that caveat emptor taken off. Uh, this is an EV SPAC play, so it's in a very hot sector. Uh, these uh, EV SPAC plays have been absolutely terrific. And uh, the potential in this thing is absolutely phenomenal, in my opinion. Um, now, they did have a tweet this weekend that they did take down. I think it's because they, and I'm assuming it's because uh, Mr. Sharp had him take it down because they still had the caveat emptor um, on them on the uh, OTC markets. I do believe they will have that off soon. I don't have a timetable. I'm not 100% sure how long this is going to take, but uh, I don't think it's going to be very long. Uh, I believe uh, Mr. Sharp has a two-month contract with them, and uh, in fact, I'm pretty positive he's going to have that off well before that two-month uh, contract is up. And again, they did put in their tweet that they have an EV SPAC that they're working on, and in that EV SPAC, they don't have to do any reverse split because this, this SPAC itself can push them straight to NASDAQ. So um, I don't know, you know, I'm not going to make any speculations on that, uh, but I do know that's very positive. I know uh, Mr. Sharp is very selective on who he uh, works with as far as, uh, you know, uh, taking contracts to advise in the OTC market. So I think this one has major potential. And this one, uh, again, at seven cents, I think this thing has at least two, 300 percent potential. Again, this one is another uh, probably 30 to 60 day swing trade, in my opinion, if not a little longer. Uh, so the first two trades. Are, are they're, they're not day trades in my opinion these are going to take a little bit of time to work and these are uh, something that I'd be grabbing on and holding on to for probably maybe a uh, 30 to 90 days with these uh, and that one is NIHK first is OMID second NIHK now uh, third stock we're going to be looking at is a stock that uh, I've talked about several times. Uh, we've, we've talked about it probably. In fact, we've called this stock out uh, under just when it broke from the trips. Uh, and this is NECA Holdings, NECA. Uh, stock closed on Friday at 0.0042, up 27% on Friday. Uh, the CEO uh, tweeted that they will have updates on the company this week. So I do anticipate early this week we do find out... Um, 
what they're doing, their game plan on going forward, uh, what their procedures will be going forward as far as how many companies will be under the uh, NECA Holdings umbrella. Uh, we may find out what companies are under the NECA Holdings umbrella. We may find out uh, some of the steps that they're going to take as far as, uh, you know, if they're going to be reducing shares, if uh, what their plan is going forward, uh, what is better than pink current, uh, as uh, stated in one of their tweets, which uh, in my opinion could be OTCQB, um, which... Uh, uh, one of the um, you know one of the one of the things that they have to do in order to uh, to you know uh, qualify for that is to keep a one cent bid for 30 days so um, right now they they're not doing that but I'm assuming that once they put this news out uh, once they get this ball rolling the high was uh, 0 0.012 I do think they can break that high and once they break that high it's blue skies uh, no resistance whatsoever so um, Nika Holdings could have a nice run. Uh, that's definitely one I'm watching this week, and that's NECA. Um, now, the fourth stock we're watching again is another stock that we've been talking about quite often. We've been uh, talking about this stock from under a penny. Uh, this is ATVK Ameritech Ventures. Uh, this stock closed on Friday up 10% at 0.265, so 26 and a half cents. Uh, they have a court case tomorrow um, for a share reduction uh, to get rid of any of the toxic lending that had it might have may have been going on under the last uh, CEO. Um, you know, so this could be a very positive catalyst for this stock. Uh, again, this is another lower float OTC stock, and if uh, these shares get canceled, which I'm almost positive they will, um, you know, these court cases tend to lean towards the company um, because, uh, it, you know, this is uh, not uh, legal lending that was going on, uh, as, you know, as far as the OTC is concerned. So I'm pretty sure uh, Dr. Patsley will win this case. And I think this is going to be a huge positive cat, uh, catalyst for Ameritech Ventures. So, um, you know, I've been holding Ameritech Ventures since under a penny. I have gave I gave it to you guys uh, at 0 .088. I gave it to you guys at two cents. And I've been preaching this stock ever since. So uh, we're looking at, uh, you know, 1,000% gains or better on this. And I still think this thing has room to run. So uh, at 26 cents, I still think this thing's a buy. I think we could possibly break 30 cents tomorrow alone. Um, and who knows uh, once they, because you have to keep in mind, they haven't even announced uh, what they're going to be, you know, what companies are going to be under the Ameritech Ventures umbrella. So, um, you know, this is a technology holding company. They have um, fintech, uh, drones, blockchain, every, all these hot sectors uh, this company uh, has a prospect of being involved in. So I uh, really like ATVK. This is another stock, like I said, I've been holding it for quite some time and plan on holding it. Um, you know, quite honestly, I'm looking for at least 75 cents on this stock. So I probably will be holding uh, for quite a bit longer. Um, you know, I see a lot of people talking two to three dollars. Um, you know, I never want to be overly optimistic with any stocks that we do talk about here. But uh, ATVK, in my opinion, has uh, still has a lot of room to run uh, at uh, 26 and a half cents. Um, now, uh, there's a couple of tickers I do just want to, uh, you know, bring to your attention. I talked a couple, about a couple of them on OTC Saturday yesterday. Uh, one is Viderma Inc. Uh, we talked about what this company does. Uh, the ticker symbol is VDRM. Uh, this one closed at 0 .0199. Uh, I think this thing is uh, way up underpriced for where it's at. This thing ran up to over seven and a half cents just last week on uh, some company updates. And uh, I think this thing uh, is... This thing pulled back a little too hard, in my opinion. I think it's basing out right around two cents. It may consolidate just a little bit, but uh, with everything that they've got going for them, I could see this thing trading easily at, at around five cents. So VDRM's a steal, in my opinion. Um, another one is South uh, South Corp Capital STCH. Uh, they closed at uh, 0 0.1231, up 207% on Friday. I don't think this thing's done. Uh, we have that first green day pattern on this one. I think there is some continuation tomorrow. Uh, this thing might hit around 14, 15 cents. We then may get a little bit of a pullback, a little bit of consolidation. And But with the news they have, I think this thing may uh, continue. So I'm definitely watching this closely for a pullback to add on this position. And uh, the final one we're talking about is Hop on Inc., HPS. And then closed at 0 0.0022, down 5% on Friday. I think uh, we got to keep an eye out for the CEO. There, we're actually anticipating this thing going pink corn or at least dropping uh, some uh, 
the uh, attorney letter to the OTC markets this week. That's a really good catalyst. So that should push this thing a little further. Uh, and uh, on top of that, there's just uh, catalysts on top of catalysts. I, I implore you to do your research on this company. There's a lot of catalysts coming up for this thing. Uh, just go to the Twitter page and read some of the tweets that the CEO has put out. Um, very exciting news. So uh, if this CEO lives up to this word, this stock can really fly. So uh, again, uh, we talked about today, uh, in fact, OMID, Omen Holdings, NIHK, Video River Networks, VDRM, Viderma Inc., NECA, NECA Holdings, ATVK, Ameritech Ventures, and HPNN, Hop on Inc. Uh, and then we also mentioned STHC, South Coast uh, Capital. Um, that's all I have for you for the watch list, a little stocks that I'm going to be watching this week. Keep your Obviously, keep your eyes out. This OTC market's been absolutely on fire the past couple months. Um, there is opportunity on top of opportunity. Um, one thing I would implore you, don't chase when you see stocks running. Don't chase after them because there's always another play. Wait for a decent pullback and uh, take your position then. Um, I don't see this thing slowing down anytime soon. We're really uh, making good headway in this OTC market. So, um, you know, I, I don't see this thing slowing down anytime soon. Uh, so that's all I have for you. Uh, keep an, uh, an eye out for an update throughout the week. I will be talking more about the uh, subscription service that we will be coming out with over the next month, uh, getting that together, uh, just getting the, uh, the basic, uh, the educational part of it put out and written out. And uh, then we will be putting that out. So uh, keep an eye out for that. As always, please like, please share, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, put them in the comment section below. And as always, let's get that money, traders.